Hey everyone, my name is Sriraj and today I'm here with a small tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. Now this particular tutorial will focus on how to create logos like the one that you see in front of your screen. Now this tutorial is recommended for those people who are just beginning with Illustrator or people who have done a little of Illustrator. For the newbies, I would suggest you go through a basic tutorial first to understand how exactly can we create these logos and you know the software interface and such. All right. So let's begin. Now in order to create this logo, I've got my logo imported on the layer. Okay, this by the way is my logo. That's S, the, that letter S stands for me, that's Sriraj. So I've got this logo inside the layer. So what I'm gonna do is, in my layer palette, I'm gonna create a new layer first. All right, now if you notice, I've already logged up this layer because I don't want this reference to go anywhere. So that's why this entire thing is locked. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the polygon tool, okay, which right, uh, which lies right here. Click on the polygon tool and click on the screen. Now on the screen, you can see that we have the radius, which is 50 pixels. We can keep whatever we want, depends on the size of the particular polygon that we want. And we've got the sides. Now on in the sides, what I'll do is, I'm going to opt for a three-sided polygon. Now a three-sided polygon is a triangle. So I've got this neat looking triangle. I can see that the size is a little small. So I'll select my selection tool, click, press shift and scale it up to approximately this size. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the color or I'm going to hide my fill color or I'm going to set my fill color to none and select my stroke color and change the stroke color to black. Okay, something went wrong. Okay, change to white. So let's select my stroke color and bring it back to black. Hit Z for the zoom tool. So I'll zoom it in. All right. Now, as we can see, that we have got this neat looking thing right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this guy into two parts. So for that, I'm going to select the shape here, select my add anchor point tool, and click right here. So this way, I've got another point here and now what I'm going to do is press the shift and the up arrow key and drag my points up a bit. Select these two guys, this point here, drag and drop it down, select this point, drag and drop it down. And select this top point and drag and put it a little up. So I've got a precise logo shape ready with me. Now what I need is, I would need this S shape. Now this is not a normal letter as you can see. So for this, for creating this, what I'll do is I'll take out of my pen tool, click on the pen tool, click here. Now I can see that I've got another curve right here. So click and push it here. Click and bring it here. Click and bring it here. So I'm getting a neat shape. Drag and put it here. Now I'll need another curve here. Put it on this side, put it on this side, drag and put it up. And now my shape is almost ready. I'll take my direct selection tool again. Click and drag, bring it down. Press the control key on my keyboard. And I'll bring it nice and easy till I get an almost precise shape right here. Press the control key again, bring down the tangent handles or the direction handles, whatever you call them. And now bring it down. So this way I've got a S shape ready with me. Now what I'll do is I'll hide my background layer like so. Now the thing is if you notice the original logo you see that this entire thing is smack in the middle of it. So it is dividing this triangle into two shapes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the division. So for the division I'll select both of these shapes go to my windows menu and open something called as a pathfinder now the pathfinder is a very useful option what this guy will do is depending upon what mode we have selected it will add and subtract shapes so suppose for a second that if i have got this minus front so i click on the minus front can you see that so automatically i've got this entire thing coming out right here okay i can perhaps i can undo this a little because 
we have a small issue with the shape it's touching the exact edge so i'll take my direct selection tool select both of these points here and just drag and push them a little up again select my selection tool click on the minus front so now we've got a better shape coming up now i want two different colors here so if i select the shape and i fill in a color okay so i've got a single color now i want one color here one color here. so either i have to divide the shape into two or an easier and simpler way would be to use a life paint bucket now if you hit the key k on your keyboard you'll get the life paint right here so i select the life paint 